And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got a very, very, very important day. So, Ultimate Legend Saturday, usually not that important of a day, but we got a Banger Ultimate Legend. Guys, they have really held out on Banger Ultimate Legends. Like, no joke. Lawrence Taylor, and this week, Michael Vick, after Ultimate Legends starting like three or two months ago. Guys, it just felt like a very long time since we were getting like banger, banger GTs. It feels nice to finally be back getting them again though, to be quite honest with you guys. I'm excited to go over Vick. Now here's the thing. So prior to last night's Michael Vick reveal, we were thinking that you were the most likely option for a golden ticket choice was gonna be a quarterback. Now, there's the possibility of what if you get Ultimate Legend Vic, you power him up, you can have him up, and he ends up being your old, your GT type quarterback, and then you can then use your golden ticket on another position such as Bo Jackson, Julio Jones, Brian Burns, like, you know, like, there's other options now, so now we gotta think. Now, me personally, in this video, stay tuned to the end, I'm gonna go over kind of what I think personally, and what I think you can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, kinda, I'm gonna lay it out for you guys, kind of the differences, don't worry. I'm not gonna say go one or the other way, I'm gonna lean towards one way, and I'm going to specifically tell you why I lean towards you certain ways. Now, guys, for today's giveaway winner, if you guys don't remember, I already announced the one for you uh, first day. I'm so if I got to answer me. And now for today's winner, it's going to be Dane Lance. He's on Xbox, I believe. Um, you commented yesterday on yesterday's video. All you got to do is hit me up on Twitter, DM me directly, and we'll get your coins 50K. Guys, same thing today. For today's giveaway, another 50K. All you got to do down below is comment down below 50K. Like the video, comment down below your system, and be subscribed to the channel once you do all the things you're entered to win. Good luck. Dane Lance for yesterday, first day. I forget the guy's name, but I said it already. And yeah, pretty much it. Hit me up on Twitter to claim your reward. Now, guys, as far as Vic goes, let's go check everything out in the store. I kind of want to open packs, but at the same time, we all know I'm not going to get him. But let's head over to my power of Vic to go check him out real quick. I'm I don't know. We're going to have to compare him to an actual, uh, the regular Vic, and see what we're thinking now here's guys here's the biggest issue with this vic versus the golden ticket vic or the lamar jackson and that's the abilities now you guys may be thinking right like i know a lot of people initially think oh 99 vic screw golden ticket vic not necessarily true first off golden ticket vic, vic passes a lot better he's gonna get a lot higher mid now obviously you can use west coast and get it pretty close but he's gonna he's not gonna be nearly as a polished passer as the vic so now golden ticket vic is gonna have perfect passing he's gonna be damn near 99 overall passer this Vic's going to be a mid-90s passer with the athleticism. That's the difference. You want a perfect passer or a near great passer. That's going to be the difference and the abilities. Now, what you don't notice is that with this Vic, his highest abilities are going to be like human joystick, evasive, dashing deadeye. Like, obviously, yes, he's going to get dashing deadeye more than likely. He's going to get human joystick. He's going to get um, escape artist and probably like, probably evasive going to be the last one now with golden ticket vic or golden ticket lamar jackson because of their the way the archetypes work with them you're gonna be able to use their abilities to get escape artist human joystick hot route master maybe protected it really depends on what they have they have two field general or one but he's gonna be able to get some pretty awesome stuff as well as maybe even omaha as their x factor i'm not entirely sure but you're gonna be able to get some really cool x factor and ability mixtures like lamar and pretty much lamar and vic together are going to be a culmination the golden ticket ones are going to be a combination of pretty much every quarterback in Madden. You're going to get the passing, the rushing, the throwing, the the, the ability to be elusive, and the abilities of, of everything. They're pretty much like, they're like, yeah, all in one guy. But this Vic's going to be a great scrambler, a good enough passer with the scrambling type abilities. So, guys, if you want that overpowered, next level, do-it-all quarterback, it's going to be golden ticket. Now, guys, if you if you can make it work cool with your current quarterback and you rush a lot, if you're a heavy running team, you go this Vic. And then you go ahead and you take Bo Jackson, a golden ticket. Your heavy passing team, you go golden ticket Vic or golden ticket Lamar. And then you just wait for an ultimate Legend type running back. Or guys, if you already have your quarterback planned out, you love Mahomes some, you go Julio Jones. I mean, personally, I think I'm going to take a golden ticket quarterback still. But obviously, we have to check out, we have to go on the block and see all of Michael Vick's stats one on one to see what we really think here. But like I said, guys, that's the one difference between the two. You're not going to get Hot Rod Master, which was a very important ability, in my opinion. Hot route master is important. I really think it is because you're gonna be able to hot route any single player on the field to a, mo a lot of different types of routes. And that is super, super important, especially when you're versing someone who's pretty good on defense to be able to just mix it up, change it up, get different routes everywhere. Like, especially nothing's worse than when you see it, when you see a, a space and you can't hit it. 
know what I'm talking about? Like when you see a cover three and you know if you have a an out right there or you have a flat right there, like you know like you'll be able to hit that and it'll be wide open. But you can't because you don't have hot run master. Now this Vic right here, 95 speed, 99 throw power, 92 throw short, 90, 89 throw mid, 94 throw deep, 92 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run, 91 play action. Now like I said, that mid range and that shorts where you're really gonna feel this. Now, if you put go deep on him and you power him up, you will get him up to like a 99 throw deep, just about. So, deep's always gonna be fine. But I recommend you to use West Coast. Now, with West Coast, you're gonna be able to get his mid range and shorts like a 95 short and like a 93, 94 mid. Which, again, if you have 94s across the board passing, it's not horrible. But his throwing the pressure is already kind of bad. His throwing accuracy is gonna be good, not great. And that's it. Like, that's, that's what he's gonna be. And now, again, this quarterback can get it done, trust me. If, if there happens to be no golden tickets, I would think this quarterback is the greatest thing in Madden. But there are golden tickets, and when you, when you compare them, you can very clearly see the differences. So, compared to my Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes blows him away everywhere. Everywhere, except really for speed. That's it. Speed, that, that's, that's pretty much it. And Mahomes gets better abilities, I'm pretty sure. So, would you rather have the plus 10 speed or the plus everywhere throwing? Now, if you compare it to... Let's just say real quick a golden ticket before we go check out the other ultimate legends. Let's say you go to golden tickets. Oh, if you go to golden tickets and you compare Mahomes, you're gonna clearly see here that. Let's see, let's see where is he? Michael Vick. You compare him, so you compare him now to Patrick Mahomes, and he blows away Mahomes. So you could clearly see the differences there, but again, it's up to you guys. It all comes down to the way you guys play. If you're heavy, heavy run, you go this Vick. You got the speed anyways, and you got you can get Bo Jackson golden ticket. If you're heavy, heavy pass, maybe that's not the move. But again, as time gets closer, we will and that analyze it better. Obviously, people have to get him, see how he plays first, and check everything out. Now let's get to some of the new guys. We did get some. We get a, we got a new guy, Simeon Rice. I don't believe we got any other of his cards this year. Pretty cool, new legend, I believe. 90 speed, 94 excel, 90 strength, 92 tackle, 94 play rec, 91 block shit, 89 power moves, and 90 finesse moves. Reminds me very much of Julius Peppers. You got that speed. You got that height. Now. Personally guys, I still love my Aaron Donald card. Um, the thing is here. Yeah, he has a 90 speed 94 excel But his strength's kind of low like very low considering he's a 99 overall his play rex kind of low His block shed is super low his power move again doesn't matter as long as he's a power move or a finesse move I'm happy so power move versus finesse move are the same 98 98 difference is Aaron Donald can also finesse move block shed so Aaron Donald can shut down the run He could play that he could pass rush just as well better play recognition same tackle way better strength And yeah, he's, he's a little less athletic but I will give up a little bit of athleticism to be able to actually stop the run and the pass. Because it doesn't matter how fast you are. If you struggle to stop the run, it's not going to really matter if you can't get off blocks. So Simeon Rice, he's great. If you're want like if you if you're upgrading from like Julius Peppers, maybe, then you go Simeon Rice. But if you already have Aaron Donald, I think I'm going to stick with him. I'm just going to wait for another Aaron Donald. I don't know when they're going to drop one. Though. I don't know when. Maybe positional heroes they could. Because he hasn't gotten a card since January. I remember I was in Spain when they dropped Aaron Donald. That was a while ago for all you guys who remember that. And then for today's final card, we do have Steve Large and LTD. Let's see if he is up on the block just yet. And yeah, about things came up quick today. Well, probably, what's Randy Moss at right now? 560. Steve Large and LTD. Wasn't really too excited for this card. 94 speed, 90 jumping, 99 catching, 97 catch traffic, 95 spec catch, 97 short route running, 99 medium route running, and 96 deep. Guys, if you can get his speed up enough, he can be similar to a golden ticket, no joke. Thing is, I don't like his speed, but if you do power him up and you chem him up, he will get to a 98 speed. So, 98 speed plus. With the right chems, he should have pretty much all maxed out route running. With John Madden, and you have, I believe it's, should you have, yeah, go deep maybe. Go deep and John Madden, he will end up with a 99 deep route running, 99 short route running. He'll end up with like a 97 to 98. No, like a 98 or 99 spec catch and a 99 catch traffic. This card could be very, very, very great if you chem him up properly. Now, in my opinion, will I get him? It all depends on his price. He is an LTD, so he's pretty crazy. But you compare him to Calvin, obviously. I mean, he's small though, so you, gotta, you can't really compare him to a guy like Calvin. Maybe more like a Tory Holt. He's very polished. If you can get his speed up all the way and you have the right cams and John Madden stuff, he can be super, super, super great. But again, that implies that you have all the John Madden cams, you have everything for him. And that's not always the case. Now, quickly before we get out of this video, guys, uh, let's do my little rankings that I always like to do. Personally, in my opinion, number one, last place, gonna be Simeon Rice. Second place, Steve Largent, because he can be great. If you get him up there, he's one of the best wide receivers in Madden. And then first place, obviously, Michael Vick. Michael Vick is ridiculous, even if he's not better than his golden ticket version. Still great, and guys, these golden tickets have crashed a bit since yesterday. So, if you have the coins to pick them up, now probably the time. I mean, obviously they're gonna come down even more, so don't don't actually pick them up now. Like, if you see them cheap, go ahead, but don't don't force it. But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to enter today's giveaway. 50k down below. Your console. 
and like the video and be subscribed once you do all those things you're to win good luck let's get over 250 likes on today's video that's about it guys i'm out peace